All right, so in my last video, you saw that I grabbed a snowblower uh, and I was looking for a tractor to fit it on, and so I found this one. Turns out that snowblower only fits early 90s Murray tractors, and so I found this 1990 Murray tractor, so I'm gonna try to get it going. I got it from a guy. Unfortunately, his brother passed away and he had it. And he had it running last fall, but they don't know how good or, or anything like that. So no clue if it runs, if it's been winterized or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and see if we can get it started. Uh, first, we'll check the oil on it. Oil looks good. Got any gas in it. it? Does looks like there's some gas. It smells fairly good, Not varnished or anything like that. It's got a battery in it. The battery, the date on it. You can see. If you can see it right here. 5:20. So last May. So the battery should be okay. didn't read instructions before starting it okay I just pulled the shroud off and there seems to be our problem that does not look right looks like the starter ring broke off maybe or something I don't know I'm probably just gonna get a new starter for it unless I can maybe figure out how to put it back together <laughs> Seems okay, but yeah, that's the issue. I'll get that fixed. Yeah, I think I found the other piece to the starter. It's back down in here. Let's see if I can grab it out of there. Nope. Shoot. Yeah, here's that other piece I found. It looks pretty broken. It looks like a pretty weak part anyway. So I don't know if I. I'll look and see if they can send me a hardware kit or something. It might just be cheaper and easier to buy it starter for this thing i've seen these motors on in lots of mowers before so starters might be cheap we're back later in the week and i got some parts that i needed for the starter so i'll just show them to you here it was actually cheaper to get just a rebuild kit instead of the whole starter it's like 17 bucks for this um, and i think the starters i found on, on ebay were like 35 for the cheapest or something like that so this one comes with a new spring. Yeah, she's in there good. New sprocket thingy here. Retainer clip. Whatever you want to call this thing. Thrust washer. And of course, this is the piece that I needed that broke on mine. So the the starter gear is pretty wore out too. So might as well use this one. All right, so I got the starter off. Uh, there's like this little snap ring thing in here that I have to remove. Take this thrust washer out, and then this whole thing just slides off. I'll slide the new one on, and then throw her back on there. This is the, the new piece, the one that broke. If you look in there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the 
there's some casting around the, the inside bore of that. So what I'm going to have to do is basically just file that out because right now it doesn't fit over that shaft. So poor quality. Got it on there. No problem. Fits good. Comes up, springs back. Looks good. We'll throw it on there and see if she starts. Before I put it all back together, I'll just see if the starter works. One thing that's nice about this old Murray tractor is the whole front end comes off in one piece. And it's just like three bolts to get it off and it slides off. So I'm going to leave it off for now because I'm guessing I'll maybe have to clean the carb on this. Um, but for right now, we'll just uh, see if we can get her started without the front end on it. greatest but we'll uh, maybe try to get her going a little bit better here okay two things with this carb I don't know if you can see it or not but there's the two bolts to take this carb out it should be pretty easy but that one is so far back behind the carb and between the engine and the intake manifold I don't know it looks seems like a pain another thing I found which I <laughs> overlooked is the idle mix down here. This carburetor is a little different than most of the other ones. Most of them have like the top part where the where the throttle blade is and then the bowl underneath. And this one, the actual bowl is kind of around the throttle part of it. Here's the top part. You can see the float there and then the top there. Um, and actually it's got this little port on the side. That's where the main jet goes. I've got it here. It's I got it all cleaned out. Um, There's a little bit of gunk in there. It wasn't too bad, um, but I got all the little passages cleaned out and sprayed out. I probably should take it off and give it a deep clean, but uh, this was easy. It only took me a couple minutes, so I'll see how it runs with this and if it still doesn't run the greatest. I'll I'll yank it off. And it's looks like it's kind of a pain. This the fuel pump is built into the side of it. Mm. So hopefully it runs good. We'll get her back together and try her out. All right, so I got the carb clean. The fuel filter changed on it. See how she runs now. She wants to go. Here's the plugs out of it. They're looking pretty nasty. That might have something to do with it. This one wasn't even tight. I put the wrench on it and basically it just started unscrewing. So 
that could have something to do with it too. Looks like, I don't know, looks like there may be some fuel coming out of there, which would make sense. So that looks like the fuel was kind of dripping, dripping at the bottom of that. So that probably made a big difference. You know, probably wasn't sealed up and the fuel was, wasn't burning because it wasn't having that compression that it needed and the fuel just kind of puddled up. So throw some new plugs in there and see what it does. All right, so I've changed the plugs, put a new air filter in it, clean the carb, a couple other things, so we'll see if we can get her going. I think I got her going. It needed more fuel, so I turned the idle screw out a little bit and it seems like it runs okay. that about does it for this video I got this thing going it seems like it, it runs okay good enough I would say for uh, whatever 20 19, 30 oh wow 30 year old mower with an old Briggs pose twin runs okay so next up um, I've got this snowblower here that fits the tractor I'll probably try to get at, get that on there and maybe make another video of that, but so far, I'm happy with it. <laughs>